I'm, <coughs> I'm now going to uh, call on my wife, Wanda, to share with you an experience she had at Penn Square this past week. It's a very fitting offertory story. Wanda? And let's welcome Wanda, please. We have talked in here. Turn it on. We've talked in here. It's not. No. We've talked oh. yeah. We've talked in here before about whether things are serendipity or we're meant to be, the Holy Spirit's placed us somewhere. And what happened to me this past week in Penn Square, I think the Lord placed me there. I don't think it was just serendipity. Uh, I was at the food court and a young lady with two little girls just sat at the table right next to me. They were very clean, very polite. She uh, had a little meal for them to share for the little girls and she wasn't eating, which is not all that uncommon, but she had forgotten to get napkins, so she literally walked five feet away to get some napkins. And as kids, she said, don't move. Well that never works so as a grandma the one started to move and I'm like no just wait a minute wait a minute so the mother came back and thanked me for that and we struck up a conversation and she said well I'm a single mom and I said well that's not uncommon and she said there's no father in the picture that too's not uncommon I didn't think anything about it and I said do you have a job we just started visiting so I work here in the mall at pepperoni grill, I deliver food for StubHub, you know, she, she's trying. And she said, I get help with my rent. And we just kept talking. And I got up to leave, and I don't know, the Lord just would not let me leave. He just, the Holy Spirit just said, you have got to give a gift. You, you have to bless this young lady. You have the ability to do it, and you should do it. Well, I don't ever carry cash, but I'd gotten cash to give Jeff his weekly allowance <laughs> so he could buy his lunch every day at church. And so I had cash on me that day, and so I just gave this young lady a $20 bill. The Lord said, you need to give her a blessing. He would not let me leave. He just kept tugging me to come back to her. And so I gave her a $20 bill and just said it gave it to her at the table and she got up and started crying not tears but sobbing and I'm like oh my god I've embarrassed her I've done something horrible and she came and gave me a giant hug and she said you have no idea I just spent the last five dollars I had on their happy meal and this is going to get gas and so forth. And I just feel like, as we've talked about serendipity, or did the Holy Spirit place me there? And um, I think with offerings and things we do for this church with mobile meals and chain reaction, it's not serendipity. The Lord places us here and asks us to give when we can. So thank you for letting me share that. It, it just really touched me that day with that young lady who's really trying, but I, I had the ability to bless her, and I, I should have, and I did. The Lord would not let me do otherwise. So thank you for letting me share that. Thank you. And, and let us uh, pray. Oh Lord, we are thankful for opportunities to share and to serve. So sensitize us afresh to those moments, to those days, to those times when we may reach out in your name and lift the spirit of one whose needs are real and great. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.